Hey guys, it's Little Sky Rose. It's good to see you all. We're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a speed paint, and that starts with OBS. The other programs I'll be using in this video is uh, Windows Movie Maker, which is completely free, which I will put the links down in the description if you do not have that installed on your PC already, because it should be installed with most uh, store-bought Windows PCs. Okay, with that out of the way, welcome. So let's get this going. So the first thing before we even get into Windows Movie Maker is we need to set up OBS for our recording. This is pre-recording. <coughs> so starting, open your settings. The first thing we're going to take a look at is your output. Down here in your output, you need to go down to your bitrate and set your bitrate. I'd recommend setting it at 8000 kbps because that'll be your uh, magic bitrate. Don't forget to hit apply to apply it to Windows Movie Maker. I mean, OBS. <laughs> Sorry. Next, we're going to hit the video tab. Uh, for your video tab, depending on what your system can handle, 1080p or, or 720p, but mine is that 1080p. If you want to do 1080p, this, you can do it this way too. So, your base canvas resolution needs to be what your width ratio is. So, 1920 by 1080. You're going to need to remember that as well as the bit rate that you set earlier. It's all going to make sense. Uh, I'd recommend setting your frame, your common frame FPS value, so that's your frame rate, to 60. So that way uh, it'll be nice and smooth. Okay. Now that you got all that set up, go ahead and do your recording or record after that. Do your art recording, whatever you're going to do. Then once you're done, head on over to Windows Movie Maker. There are two ways to add video files to Windows Movie Maker, but we'll get to that in a minute. We need to set the uh, the project stuff. So your settings for your output. So to create settings, go to go all the way to the bottom. Okay, create. Custom settings. Here you're on new. So name it whatever you want, right? Uh, so for now, I'm going to name this temp. I'm not going to save it. So mine was 1080. So 1920 by 1080. Because that was the width and height of the video. The bit rate <coughs> is that. And then I set my frame rate to 60. And I'm leave your audio format the way it is. So you would save this, save this, whatever you want to name it. Press save and do that. But I don't need to do that. So there are a couple ways to import video. I already have video to show you, but there's usually like a tab here that you can click on. It says add video, add whatever, you know. There's also this little one up here, which is add videos and photos, which you can add your content from there. Uh... So I shouldn't have to tell you how to navigate your computer for files because you should already know that. All right, for video editing, make sure you have your file. Your file set to, um, I'll have your video file clipped. I always do this first. This right here is your speed under the video tools tab when you have your video selected. So under that, you would click this. For now, I'm gonna set this to 32, just to do it a quick speed paint. So if you press that, she's suddenly fast. Like, yeah. By the way, you can press space to automatically play videos if you did not know that. But that's all sped up. So, say you want to add music to your video, right? Go here, go wherever you grab music. So for me, uh, I gotta navigate. <laughs> Learning Windows. There it is. So for me, I have it in my custom downloads folder for music. So I don't know who <coughs> this music is. Um, yeah. So we load in the music. Music shouldn't take long. So I press. This is gonna be loud when I press play. Okay. Little note about Windows Movie Maker. I forgot to warn you. Whenever you add a new sound, add sounds or it'll automatically skyrocket to the amount of uh, volume you already have going on on your PC. 
So that's a little thing to keep in mind. If you have headphones with uh with a volume knob on them, you're good to go. But yeah, so say after you've done all your editing, you have all your video footages, you cut it up to where you cut out all the little stops and stuff. So you want to save. So we go back up here, file save, click cube three, find wherever you're going to store this. For me, I keep my PC organized enough to where I have a videos folder, one with my YouTube name in it, and then kind of just name this as whatever. You know, whatever you want to do, we'll just randomly name it. And this will pop up. When this is done, your video is done. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Uploading to YouTube should be pretty fine, or whatever video platform you use. Uh, this is Little Sky Rose. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped you. Have a good morning, noon, or night. See you guys later.